Snapshot is here, Snapshot is here, and there's a whole bunch of new features. Let's check them out. Hey guys, it's Chad, and this snapshot we have some cool little features, and so let's jump in. So here we are inside of this snapshot. Exciting stuff. And the first thing that I notice is uh, this right here. There is seagrass growing in a river. Now this is a uh, desert, so I think that the desert biome is kind of messing with uh, the exact growth, but it is really nice that we have some seagrass growing in the desert and also that uh, seagrass texture kind of pokes right out of the top i don't know if i like it or uh, if i don't like it uh because you know normal aquatic plants would also probably reach the top and maybe push through just a bit so uh let's go find an ocean to keep exploring wow some really cool world generation in any other game this wouldn't be cool world generation this would be broken world generation but in minecraft that that is some cool world generation. Ha ha. The ocean. All right. After giving night vision, you can kind of see uh, what's going on down here. And first, I want to stick with world generation and some of the things that have uh, been added to the worlds. So the first thing that we're going to search for is some sea pickles, <laughs> sea, sea cucumbers, which will become sea pickles, I assume. Uh, so let's get a hunting. So what's funny is I've been trying to stay next to these uh, warmer biomes right here to get warmer oceans <laughs> because <laughs> I have to find them in either warm oceans or with coral. And uh, the only thing <laughs> I'm finding <laughs> next to these guys is cold oceans. Oh, here's a lukewarm ocean. Okay, gosh, we're in the right direction now. Finally, this is adorable. This is a, a boat that like it looks like it pulled into dock and then it just sank like two inches. It was like. Okay, we're here. Oh, there was, there's a hole in the bottom of the boat. Should we fix it, Captain? He was like, nah, let's just leave it here. Holy coral in abundance. Okay, so found some coral, and I believe that sea pickles. Oh, my gosh, I think I see some already. I do. <gasps> sea pickles will grow in coral, so I don't have to find my uh, warm ocean. I just have to find some coral here, and here they are. It looks like in this stack, let me switch into... Uh, game mode uh, uh, adventure or not adventure survival um, just to make sure because yeah you get two all oh, and these float immediately oh that's adorable I assume that you can eat them when uh, when you get hungry we got two okay they emit light look at that they're like little now, I do have on night vision let me turn that off yeah they do oh look at that they're like little sea gland candles they're not just sea pickles they're sea candles well that's cool give me your sea pickles okay so you can put up to four on a block uh they don't have their little stems okay and then when they're underwater they do so you can keep that going yeah and uh looks like they the amount of light they emit changes based off of how many pickles are in the block so you have four over here that's going to emit more light than if there's only one oh, i need to get some oh, some breath so i have a few sea cucumbers lined up here and you can see the light level which is just right here underneath the biome the block that i'm sitting on is six and now as we move away it goes down with two cucumbers it's nine with three, it is 12, and with four, it is 15. Now, in order just to kind of give you an idea of some other blocks, this uh, pumpkin is 12, glowstone is 12, this sea lantern is also 12, and this end rod, well, I'll, it doesn't work underwater, but uh, if it was, it would be 11. So a cucumber giving off a uh, light level of 15. Now, I am standing in it, so technically, to get all these correct... Okay, okay. So, in order to get it correct, I guess it's also 12, because if I'm standing above it by one block, which is technically happening with all these, if you stand inside of it, it is a 15 light level. Um, and what's... Well, this is interesting. I don't know if this is because there's not enough water around it. Yeah, that's what I would assume, is that those sea cucumbers don't have their little plumes on the top let's throw some water in here and see what happens 
There we go. Put some water on it, and they got their little plumes back. Okay. Cool. Um, but they do uh, offer quite a lot of light. And then up here, I don't believe they offer any light at all. Uh, maybe they do. Yeah, look at that. They do. Okay, let's... Whoa! Oh, my gosh. Glitchiness. Yeah, they they offer no light, actually. What am I... I, I guess I was next to a different sea cucumber. This cucumber was giving me some issues. Okay, so they do not give off any light up on the surface. I bet if you... Yep, to throw some water in there, then they do. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Have a nice little way to light aquariums. And also, it really does give a, a neat look. Get rid of all this ugly F3 stuff. But it really does give the oceans a really cool look. This is without night vision. This is without, you know, normally I'm running around here with night vision on. Uh, but that is really, really cool to have <laughs> to have that underneath the water. So coral uh, has been updated just a bit in that these are now called coral blocks, uh, the actual blocks. These are called coral, and then there are still the coral fans. But uh, everything has kind of changed around when it comes to the coral, is that you can see the names of them as I scroll through them. Uh, you got tube coral, which is the blue, brain coral, which is the pink, bubble coral, which is uh, the purplish, fire coral, and horn coral. And then the fan uh, also follows that same thing. Now, still, there are not really any fans um, on any of this stuff yet. Uh, but they have not only changed their texture just a bit, uh, but their name. And I don't have any of the pink brain coral fans because my inventory couldn't fit it. So one thing about the sea, sea pickles, sea cucumbers is what I want to keep uh, calling them, is you cannot eat them at the moment. Uh, and if you smelt them, whoops. Uh, in a furnace, they don't turn into cooked pickles. They turned in. They turn into lime dye. Lime dye. You can't eat lime dye. It's not eatable. You gotta stick to carrots and poisoned potatoes. Wait a second. So one thing that was mentioned was that cloud rendering is a little bit different. And uh, here at like night, fall, moon, moonset, sunrise ish. Uh, now I do have on once again. Oh my gosh, this effect. Of night vision is, is quite a thing. Okay, this is okay. This is what it normally looks like. Uh, but the clouds have been re-rendered, so let's get a little different of a time. Um, and I think they look good. I can kind of see, you can kind of see that uh, there's like squares of clouds, and the edges aren't really quite lined up. Um, let me just eat a gigantic carrot in your face. Um, so yeah, the cloud rendering is a little bit different. Okay, so now I'm in survival. We're gonna armor up here. Uh, I'm wearing my mending leather boots that I found in that shipwreck. Oh, it's hard to see now. Oh, it's, well, there's a shipwreck right there. Hello. Hello. There he is. Um, okay, so we got, uh, some armor, got a bow, got some arrows, and we're supposed to be able to get some phantom membranes. So we're gonna spawn a few phantoms here. Oh my gosh, they're all at me at once. Get out of here! Get out of here! Holy cow. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Okay, I've never actually tried to fight these guys in survival. That is that is terrifying. I can see you. Not all at once, please. Ow. Okay, run. Retreat. hi -ya. Wow, they're coming in fast! Get out of here! Got one. Okay. We killed one. Whoa, that one made a weird sound when it died. Attack. Okay, one died, and he dropped something. Oh, he dropped something, too! There's one more. Yeah, there he is! Hiya! Get out of here! Oh, there's two more. Okay, I, I picked it up. A phantom membrane. Here's the other one. Phantom membrane. Ow! I think out of all those phantoms, I spawned, uh, looks like six phantoms. I got two membranes from them. Two phantom membranes. Get out of here, Creeper Carl. Okay, so once you catch uh, some uh, phantom membranes, I'm in creative now, so I'll just make a whole bunch more of those, uh, and brew up an awkward potion, I believe that this will brew into a potion of slow falling. Now, I know that the potion of slow falling, slow falling has been added to the game, but I'm only making a guess here that this is how it's made because the membrane and the slow falling was added to the game at the exact same time. <gasps> and we'll see. There we go. Potion of slow falling for a minute and three seconds. Okay. 
So I'm I'm a I'm gonna just use this in creative at first and go way up here. Let's see how slow this is. There we go. Potion is slow falling. Oh whoa, that's very slow. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna give myself uh effect. Uh, what what should I give? I think it's jump boost that I want to give myself. There we go for let's give it for two hundred seconds and let's do amplifier five. There we go. Let's just do it. Bah! Oh my gosh, I'm like, this is like in the movies when you can jump like like in the Matrix. Like this is what it seems like. That's pretty awesome. Uh, if you're about ready to die somehow, you could. I, you know, give yourself these slow falling. Um, that's pretty nice that you wouldn't take any fall damage. Whoa! That whole area is on fire! What happened over here? Oh, my lanta. What? <laughs> wow, this is, this is one lava. Only lava can prevent forest fires. Oh, interesting. Okay, so now... <laughs> Riptide and Loyalty cannot be enchanted... Well, that has Riptide already. Uh, cannot be enchanted on the same thing. So that stinks a little bit. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, okay, you have Riptide. You can't have Loyalty. And then you have Loyalty, but you can't have Riptide. So now you can. You have to choose between Riptide or, or Loyalty, which I feel like is going to make uh, Riptide... Oh, oh, okay, okay, that, well, that changes things, you hold on to it, um, while you are riptiding, so, wait, can I hit him, there we go, but now I can't throw it, okay, so that's interesting, so, if you have, this is my riptide, you can't throw anymore, you can't throw your trident, Basically, the only way to get that crazy trident feature is to stand in water. Uh, now, if you have loyalty, of course you can. And it goes away, and then it'll come back to you once it's finished. Um, very interesting. So that has changed quite a lot. <laughs> it's crazy to see that guy do that. Um, it'd be cool, you know, if this could, like, impale an item. And... And go grab it and bring it back. That'd be that'd be awesome. But that means that if I'm having trouble hitting this uh, skeleton over here, I can switch to a Riptide and shoot myself over to him. Hiya! Get wrecked! And then I, of course, I can use the normal. Whoops! There was a block in front of me. The normal click forward to kill him. I see you up there. Well, that did not work out. Whoa! Uh oh, I got some string. Watch out. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, in reading the change log, there's a few extra things that I need to mention that uh, Riptide can't be used with channeling either, which in my previous videos I call it changeling over and over and over and over again. It's not changeling, it's channeling. Uh, so you can't use it with channeling, just like you can't use it with loyalty. And finally, the. Phantom Membrane is how you repair the Elytra, which actually makes a lot of sense if you think about it, that leather is super easy to get, Elytra is super hard to get, so why should you be able to repair Elytra with leather? Now you repair it with the much harder to get uh, Membrane of the Phantom, and uh, that that is just, just really cool. I'll be honest with you, I'm still not sure if I love the difference between the Riptide old effect and the new effect, I kind of feel like it really won't be enchanted on many items because you have to use it when it's watery around. So why would you really want that unless it adds a huge benefit to the amount of damage that you do, which it doesn't seem that it does. So that is kind of like, eh, in my opinion, I wouldn't ever want to enchant that onto my trident. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. And I'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.